In this tutorial, you'll learn how to export your scenario, creating a feature layer, a 3D web scene, and a 2D web map. In the overview, select the plans icon. Select southboston.av plan. Click on the Options button and click Configure. In the Plan Setting dialog, click the Scenarios tab. Expand Scenario 2, Propose Zone Change. Under Design Visualization, you'll see the word None. This is because the plan hasn't been published yet. Once the plan is published, you'll see a link to the exported web scene in this section. Click Cancel to return to the overview. On the plan's detail card, click the Options button and select Edit. From the Scenario Selector, click Publish. In the Publish Plan dialog, make sure Scenario 1 and Scenario 2 are checked on. When you publish the plan, you'll be exporting a separate feature layer, a 3D web scene, and a 2D web map. The feature layer flattens the data model, so you'll have information about zoning, space use types, and capacity indicators in the features themselves. This is useful for configuring pop-ups in the web scene or the web map for others to explore the underlying data. Under Layers, you can choose from a list of layers to export. For this example, We'll check on all of the layers for export. When publishing, the capacity indicators for the study area are also published. You can use the arrows to flip through the indicators for population, households and jobs. You can also update these values manually here. They'll be shown in the overview when you publish the plan. You can choose to share the plan as a draft, which means it's shared with whoever has access to the plan editor. This can be used for internal collaboration with other planners and designers in your organisation. If you share it as public, it'll be shared with everyone and can be seen in the public version of Urban. This is useful for constituent engagement and to get feedback from citizens on specific plans and projects. You can also share information with external stakeholders and decision makers. Click OK to publish the plan. The exported web scenes for Scenario 1 and Scenario 2 will be shown automatically in the overview. Next we'll look at the items that were exported. Click the Options button and choose Configure. Click the Scenarios tab in the Plan Settings dialog. Expand Scenario 2. Under Design Visualization, you'll see a link to the published web scene. Click on the link to view the item in ArcGIS Online. Here you can edit the title. I'll make this a slightly more user-friendly title. You can also add additional information about the item, like a description. Click Save to save any changes you made. To view the scene, click Open in Scene Viewer. In addition to the web scene, you also get a web map and a feature layer. To view these items, click Home in the top left hand corner and click Content. When you publish the plan, a separate folder in ArcGIS Online is created. In this case, it's called southboston.av. Inside the folder are the web scenes and the web maps and the feature layers that were created when we published Scenario 1 and Scenario 2. Any of these items can be used to make derivative information products like a story map or an operations dashboard, an app created using Web App Builder, or creating new web scenes with the feature layers for visualization purposes. The publishing process allows you to share information with stakeholders or the public and to collaborate with colleagues throughout your organization.